Grand Chief Sir Michael Sumare, the first Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, has expressed dissatisfaction on the destruction of the country's national parliament. He strongly condemned the actions of the members of the disciplinary forces, the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary, and the Correctional Service Institute, who vented destruction to the corridors of parliament and the surroundings on Tuesday after they didn't receive their APEC allowances. The men of our armed forces is not the right thing to do. It's sick in mind. If people do that, you know, these are things we trying to preserve for future generation. When they come, when your your children come, they know that this parliament was built by their ancestors. Opened in 1984 by His Royal Highness Prince Charles, Sir Michael Sumaro witnessed the construction of the parliament and walked the corridors of the iconic building for 33 years as a member of parliament. He spoke highly of the house, describing it as beautiful, but now with smashed glass and damaged after 34 years. It's not very good. It doesn't sound very good at all. It doesn't sound as if we are an educated country. It's very, very bad, you know. And I, I can't help it. I can't talk about it more. I think I've said enough. I'm just disappointed that this has happened. He said it was shameful for him as a Papua New Guinean to talk of the destruction of parliament and saddening as well to see the public pouring out sympathy at the aftermath. The people that uh, live, uh, live in the squatter areas, they came in and they were feeling sorry for parliament. What has happened to parliament? They sat there and they were, they were feeling sorry, mourn for loss of things that they have destroyed. He added that it was the showing of PNG's untamed rage, which sees a negative after hosting the biggest event in the country's history, APEC. Fidelis Sukina, National MTV News.